Okay, so today we are going to talk about how to translate the equation of a circle from its general form to standard form. And we will be starting right now. And so what's up mga soke? Welcome back sa channel ko. Sa lahat ng mga bago at hindi pa ako kilala, ako nga pala si Sir Pen, ang inyong math teacher. At ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang translation ng equation ng circle mula sa kanyang general form to its standard form. At bago natin simulan ang vlog na to, make sure na nakasubscribe ka sa channel na to. Please click that subscribe button at pati yung notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may mga bago akong uploads. So bakit nga ba kailangan natin siyang i-translate from general form to standard form? Okay, there are problems, situations na kailangan natin i-translate yung general form of equation to its standard form. Katulad ng mga examples na makikita ninyo now na. Ayan, so what's up mga suke? So bago natin simulan yung topic natin ngayon, kailangan muna natin i-recall yung completing the square dahil gagamitin natin ito mamaya in translating the general, the general form of equation of a circle to its standard form. So paano ba natin ito ginagawa? First, kailangan natin malaman kung ang trinomial ba na ito is a perfect square trinomial. Kung hindi, o katulad nito, yung last term is not a perfect square trinomial. So kailangan natin mailipat ito sa kabila by adding negative 2 on both sides. So cancel na natin yon. Then, x squared is it minus 18x. Then, papalitan natin itong third term na to ng isang, ng, uh, ng isang perfect square para makompleto yung perfect square trinomial. So, maglalagay naman muna tayo ng plus blank equals 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. Ayan. Plus blank din. Dahil kung ano yung in-add mo sa left side, ganun lang din yung i-add natin sa right side para balance pa rin yung equation. So, paano ba natin kukunin yung third term? Kalahati ng 18 is 9. Then, i-square natin. So, that's 81. Then, mag ng 81 dito. mag din tayo sa right side ng 81. And then, next, kailangan natin siyang i-factor. Pa-factor natin tong trinomial natin na to. Gagawin natin siyang... Pa-factor natin yung PST. So, this will become... Ano square root ng x squared? This will become x. Square root ng 81 is 9. Copy the sign of the middle term, minus. And then, nagyan natin ang square. So, unahan. And then, negative 2 plus 81 is 79. Positive 79. So, ito na yung ating sagot. Next. Y squared plus 4Y equals 15. Okay, so... Meron tayo rito yung binomial sa left side. So, kailangan natin humanap ng third term para maging perfect square trinomial siya. So, we have y squared plus 4y plus, lagyan natin ng blank, is equal to 15 plus blank din. Kalahati ng 4 is 2. Then, square natin, that's 4. Then, kung ano yung natin dito, ganun din sa kabila, we have 4. Then, factor natin to we have y. Square root nito is 2. Copy the sign ng gitna. So, we have plus. Then, lagyan natin yung square is equal to 15 plus 4 is equal to 19. So, gagamitin natin ito mamaya. By the way, kung medyo na nabilisan kayo dito, meron akong detailed and discussion sa completing the square. So, ilalagay ko yung link sa baba. Panorin nyo na lang. Okay? Okay. So, bakit ba natin kailangan pang matutunan yung pagkoconvert ng general form of equation of a circle to its standard form? Okay, so there are certain problems na ma-encounter natin like this one. We are asked to find the center of the circle whose equation is this one. Okay, and kapag naka-general form yung equation, mahirap ma-identify kung ano yung center diyan. So, kailangan muna natin siyang ma-convert sa kanyang standard form para mas madali yung pag-identify ng center ng circle. Okay, so let's get it on. So, kanina, nag-completing the square tayo. So, gagamitin natin yung completing the square. So, ano yung first step na pwede natin gawin? So, kailangan muna natin i-rearrange yung ating mga uh, terms. Pagtabi-tabi natin lahat ng mga x at lahat ng y. So, we have x squared minus 12x. So, if you can notice, may dalawang term na tayo. Hanapin natin yung third term nito para mag magkaroon tayo ng perfect square trinomial. So, plus blank. Kaya muna natin ng blank ko. Then, plus... Yun namang y, we have y squared minus 10y plus blank ulit kasi hanapin natin yung third term nito is equal to 12, negative 12. Then, meron tayong dalawang blank dito, so plus blank, plus blank. Okay? So, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, kunin natin yung kalahati ng 12, we have 6, then square natin yung 6, we have 36. Kalahati ng 10 is 5, then square natin, 25. 
36 and 25, ilalagay natin dito. Rewrite lang natin. We have x squared minus 12x plus 36 plus y squared minus 10y plus 25 equals 36 plus 25 is 61. Then, minus 12 is 49. And then, ito, if a factor natin siya, at ito rin. So, we have factoring trinomial. So, square root ng x squared, we have x. Square root ng 36, we have 6. Copyin yung sign ng gitna, minus, then lagyan ng squared. Copyin yung plus na to. Then, square root is y squared, y. Then, 5. Copyin, minus, squared. Equals 49. Ayan. So, what is the center of the circle? So, mas madali na siyang tingnan dito. The center of the circle is this one. Okay? So, the center is 6,5. And, sige, the radius, kukunin natin yung square root ng 49. So, that will be 7. Okay? Find the center and the radius of x squared plus y squared minus 18x plus 4y minus 15. So, same procedure. The first step, kailangan muna nating complete, eh, i-rearrange. So, we have x squared minus 18x. Lagyan na natin ng blank plus blank plus y squared plus 4y plus blank equals Ipat natin sa kabila yung negative 15, magiging positive 15 na yan, plus blank, plus blank. Kalahati ng 18 is 9, and then square it, magiging 81. Kalahati ng 4 is 2, square natin, magiging 4. Then lagay tayo ng 81 dito, tsaka 4. Next, factoring. Factor natin siya. So we have x minus 9 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 81 plus 4 plus 15 is 100. Ayan. Then we can now identify the center and radius. The center is 9 comma negative 2. And the radius, square root ng 100, that's 10. So, yan na yun. Okay. So, one other example. So, paano yan? Meron ng 2 sa unahan ng x squared at y squared. Akala natin, wala, hindi pwede magkaroon ng greater than 1 na coefficient yung x squared at y squared. So, in this case, so, anong gagawin natin? First, kailangan muna natin i-divide both sides by the coefficient of the x squared. Kung ano yung coefficients nila, x squared and y squared. Pares naman yan lagi kapag circle. So, i-divide natin both sides by 2. So, pag dinibide natin yan both sides by 2, makakancel natin yung 2. So, magkakaroon lang tayo dyan ng x squared plus y squared, divide mo rin ito sa 2, magiging minus 7x, divide rin sa 2, magiging plus 9y, equals 7 divided by 2, is 7 over 2. Yan. Next, rearrange. x squared, minus 7x, plus blank, plus y squared, plus 9y, plus blank, equals 7 over 2, plus blank, plus blank. Kalahati ng 7 is 7 over 2. Tama? And square natin yun, magiging 49 over 4. So, this will become 49 over 4. Kalahati ng 9, 9 over 2. Square natin, that's 81 over 4. So, this will become 81 over 4. So, kung ano yung nilagay natin dito, yun din nilalagay sa kabila. 49 over 2 and 81 over 4. And then, factor natin. We have x square root nito. Ito yun. 7 over 2. Then, minus square. Plus, ganun din. y plus 9 over 4 or 9 over 2 ito yun, 9 over 2 squared equals, ayan. So, papano, oh, 49 over 4 ito. So, 49 over 4. So, pagsamay muna natin itong dalawang ito. 
So we have 49 over 4 plus 81 over 4. Uh, similar fraction. So just copy the denominator. We have 4. And 120, 130. Add the numerator. So 130. Plus 7 over 2. So paano yan? Dissimilar. So um, GC, uh, LCD is 4. Divide and multiply. So we have 130. Divide and multiply. So we have 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 7 is 14 plus 14. So magiging 144 over 4. So 144 divided by 4 is equal to 36. So this is equal to 36. So ano ang ating center at radius? So center is 7 over 2 comma negative 9 over 2. And our radius is square root ng 36.6. Okay, so find the center of the radius of 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 40x minus 30y, 32y equals 5. So same procedure. Ganun lang din. Kapag nakakita kayo na merong numerical coefficient sa x squared at y squared, so di-divide lang natin siya both sides by the numerical coefficient, which is 4. So magiging x squared plus 4 ay, plus y squared plus 40 by 4 magiging 10x minus 32 divided by 4 is 8y equals 5 divided by 4 so 5 over 4 next step is completing the square so magiging x squared i-arrange muna natin sila x squared plus 10x plus blank plus y squared minus 8y plus blank equals 5 over 4 plus blank plus blank half of 10 is 5 then this will become 25 half of 8 is 4 so this will become 16 so plus 25 plus 16 then factor this is x this will become 5 then plus square plus this is y, this will become 16, copy the sign, minus square is equal to 25 plus 16 is 41. Then 41 plus 5 over 4 is equal to, uh, LCD is 4. So divide and multiply, ang ating denominator dito is 1. So divide and multiply, so 4 divided by 1 is 4 times 41. 164 plus 4 divided by 4 plus 5 is 1 uh, 5 so this will become 169 over 4 and this is 169 over 4 then what is the center and the radius so this will become the center is negative 5 comma 16 and the radius square root nito square root ng 169 is ilan nga ba? 13 square root ng 4 is 2 so 13 over 2 ganun lang kasimple mag-translate ng equation ng circle from its general form to its standard form so simple simple lang so if you like this video please give me a like and pakicomment sa baba kung mayroon pa kayong mga topics na gusto ninyong madiscuss natin share nyo rin to sa mga kakilala ninyo na nahihirapan sa math Muli, ako nga pala Sir Pen, ang inyong math teacher na laging nagsasabi na if you cannot change the world at least make a difference and this is my way of making a difference Bye bye